Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, first things first, I'm on my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, and down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in chat button. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Today's question, though, comes from the Tinkercad subreddit. If you haven't checked it out, it is worth seeing. The question is, I've got this project right here. I want to make this turn into a cool design up there, and it wasn't working. I've got a solution. Check this out. So this user made the design in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to just take their image of their design, screen capture it, hit copy that design, and then I'm going to move to Pixlr. I always use Pixlr X. I'm gonna hit Create New. I'm gonna use the 1000 by 1000 grid. I'm just gonna do Control V to paste that design in. And then I'm gonna cut out the white lines. So if I do Cut Out and I do Magic and Remove, I want all the lines. So I'm just gonna do that. That gives me the design. I just gotta erase this little chunk. I'm gonna shut off the softness, bump up the size, and pop, pop, pop. I can erase that little shape. Now you got the white stuff around here. I'm gonna fix that by going to draw, switch into black, shut off the softness, make this huge, and bam, I have got a crisp image of that person's design, just like that. I'm gonna crop. And apply, and save it as a PNG. I'm gonna call it Curve 2, just because you can see I've already done this, and hit save. Friends, our second program is PickSVG.com. It takes a picture and converts it to an SVG. I'm gonna hit upload. We're in my downloads, there's that PNG. We click OK. It automatically gives us a version of it. You can skip through and check out the different ones. I like this version, so I'm just going to download it. I'm gonna put it in my downloads and I'm gonna call it Curve 2, even though I spelled that wrong last time. Hit save, and then friends, it's time to move to Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, I'm gonna quickly name it Curve, and then I'm gonna to go to Import, and we're gonna choose a file, and there is my Curve 2 SVG. I always want the art. 281 is huge. I'm going to drop this down to 10 centimeters or 100. Notice it adjusts both. And I'm going to hit import. Friends, just like that, the sweet Adobe Illustrator project has been brought in. Now, just for giggles, what if you wanted the opposite of this? I've got a plan for that too. If you switch it to a hole and you bring out a cube, let's stretch that cube out. I'm going to make it a little less. Now I can see easier to line it up and make it exact. And let's do a line. Remember, you just select them, hit a line. I'm going to make the red one the boss and choose center. And sometimes people have a hard time seeing this. That is the center button and group. And friends, now you've got a cutout shape, the opposite of what we had before. I'm not sure exactly what this project is for, but if you want to get rid of that peg, you can bring out a hole. I'm going to change my nudge to 0.1. I'm going to do Alt Shift to shrink this to the size that it looks like it's going to fit. Let's do F to fit view. And I want to get that so it's just touching those shapes. That's pretty groovy. If we stretch it up, and now we do shift select to get the two shapes or you can just grab the two shapes if you group them that little peg which may have been annoying is gone so friends there you have it fun skill super quick way to take any image and bring it into tinkercad and find a way to put it to work of course friends i do want to highlight if you've ever got a question you can always find me on my website hlmodtech.com with that sweet built-in messaging tool you can also find me on the tinkercad discord or even using reddit finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great